side of the bedroom wall. Um, I'll just reiterate how I did it again because I've showed you on previous videos. But basically, if you've got the contour of the van like that, so <coughs> it's, it's a crude tool, but say that's this is the area you want to cut it into, and all I do is I uh, have the spanner with the pencil, and it goes exactly as to that and of course it would mark out there and give me the shape that I want to cut to. Now we've got the van level, we're going to do all of it at the spirit level. Nearly. So I'm happy with that. Boom! Back of the neck. See that's pretty sturdy already, look. Just showing a quick level everywhere. Um, I know you can't see, but it's level. It'll do. It's a piece of scrap ply that I've found. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it against the wall in there. You'll see what I mean anyway. So I'm going to cut it about that. So I'll do these holes a bit bigger as well. Um, and then the, we can put the, uh, the uh, straps through for the gas bottles. So the gas bottle will be can pull neatly against there. Um, so it's just, it's, I'm just using gash wood up with ideas and it also binds that bottom bit together. <laughs> Nice. 
hold slightly longer. Said the vicar to the netball team. Right. Yeah, let's try that. There we are. Um, that little space there will have its uses as well. Things like breakdown kit. There. Right, these are the locks that I'm putting across <coughs> onto the bed. <laughs> Nicely in line with that. Yeah. These have been measured uh, 110 on these off things. So what I'm going to do is look for the best ends. So that's a good end. Um, and that is, so it's either or how I cut that one. Scribing stick. So one turn. Okay. Same as that side, I've put a piece of wood across there. Now it's got a cutout in it, but I've just fastened it to those battens just to draw it together now. Uh, so I'm just going to tidy up this side now. And then that's pretty much most of the bedroom at the moment. Uh, we're pretty much done. Okay, just want to talk you through. I've cut all the lats earlier, and then I've just put some battens across there. I've got a batten there that I'm putting across. And I'll put another two battens there because I'm going to clad it with that to smarten it up so that it looks better. Um, so I'm just drilling these now to nearly kick the camera over, which is all good. That one. <coughs> Using a long drill. And then If you look over there, they're going to go across there. The reason I've put those in the centre is because you can use it as a step to get into bed, so it has to be load bearing.
I've been cutting these and then putting them together because obviously this is quite unsightly so I figured I've got this to use up so I've put these three together and then there we go and that look at that 100% difference there Because they're smaller. Yeah. And that just goes up to that. And I'm going to carry on along there now. Packing up now because it's getting dark. Uh. <clears throat> These aren't ready yet, but just to show you. What moving like? And will it work? There you go. Done. So just that mattress now to go on there, you know, trim down. The edges need trimming, you know, and smartening up. Uh, building the cupboards and everything. But the bedroom is now done. So it's definitely, definitely cosy anyway. So but all that remains now is to continue with the rest of it. But thanks for watching, as always. Um, as promised, I did say I'd get the bed done, and it's done. So um, cue the music. <laughs>